changing some things. Uh, so when you give a kid a chance to, to be involved in something that's going to be structured, well organized, someone going to be teaching character, uh, I think it plays a big part in, in their lives. In other words, we need to give our kids every opportunity to be successful. Uh, in order to, to, to improve uh, the sports activity in the county, then you're going to need a, a, a nice, attractive facility for kids to play in and participate in. Uh, so that's part of the reason I feel that, 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 that these facilities would be good for them. I, I was reading the other day where they said there's, there's three great equalizers in life. Education, sports, and death. Ready, ready? <clears throat> so we're going to be advocates for our children. And I, and I think we need, we need to think a little bit bigger. Uh, we need to make sure that, that they've got the facility that they need that, uh, to, to, to go out there and participate. And, and I just feel every child should have an equal shot. A lot of people have spoken to us about the support of the program that we have and the people that are in them. They say that uh, there are some schools that have, you know, inferior facilities when they have, you know, state championship level teams. And they think that uh, there's been a lack of support when it comes to the personnel, the, the coaches, the assistant coaches. And okay, so. And in fact, someone just recently was telling me that uh, they were involved in athletics in Sumter County and they felt like they didn't get their support that they needed. They said a lot of their time was volunteered. Uh, they spent a lot of their personal experience. Well, well, and I know you've been a coach. You've been that job. Uh, so, Herman, when I coached basketball here in Sumter County, <clears throat> my coach is with $2,000 a year. Do you think that comfortable with paying a person to, to coach basketball here for, for the entire year the time you put in? But uh, it's something I love to do. I was paid as a teacher, teacher first, teacher coach. And then you got a supplement for coaching. So you don't need to go into high school coaching if you're going in for, for the money. You're not, you're not going to make enough. You hire as a teacher, and you just supplement it. If you're going to have a good program in most places, you're going to always have volunteers. I had two volunteers that worked with me when I was coaching at Summit County High School. We didn't pay them at all. But they love the game, they love being around. <clears throat> most people that go into teaching, most of your students that go into teaching, especially those that go into coaching, they go into that particular profession because they found out when they was playing and were playing for a coach and under a coach that they lowered the game, they lowered the thing that he or she was teaching. That's what got them interested in doing that and want to give back to the kids themselves. Uh, the other day, I was a superintendent who had a call over to the placement office at the University of West Alabama just in trying on the people that were majoring in education so she could see who was coming out there be able to replace teachers with. She found that they had 18 students that was in education. 16 of them was in PE. 16 of them were a coach. These individuals are influenced by these individuals over their lives in their old profession. You know, they, they had a big impact on their lives. Many of them probably went on to college. But what you find out, and I got some statistics here, that the average kid that get a college degree if he decided to go into teaching and coaching, he's not going to make as much as, as, as his uh, the colleagues or uh, uh, the other uh, uh, student that went into some other profession. They're going to make more money over a lot of time because teaching doesn't pay uh, a real large salary at this time. And so most of those individuals go into teaching and coaching because of uh, 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 the love of the school, the love of the, <coughs> of the school system, uh, 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 a desire to want to do these things because someone encouraged them when they was playing and uh, as a coach. And so many of them decided to go into that profession. But if money is a thing, uh -huh. and, and, that, and that was what the, some of the concern was, if mm -hmm. there is money available, if the tax is introduced, mm -hmm. is there room for using some of that money to support the individuals? Because you might have a great, it, it's sort of like you, you buy a brand new vehicle but you need a sort of you need a qualified driver. Right. So you're still dealing with the same individuals. You know, just for example, if you have a football coach, mm -hmm. uh, when you were uh, a high school basketball coach, they built a new. I coach football too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, and baseball. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. 
Yeah. Um, they were <coughs> damn fine. You were there. Right. You know. But they still had the same man. Right. It was just a different and, and, and it made a difference yeah. uh, to, to me for, for them to have a nice facility because I had, got, I had become a little depressed. Just, just coaching in a facility that was cold. Uh, we had no had those uh, bats that was up in the, in the roof of the ceiling that we couldn't get out. <clears throat> I would come in every morning. They had to sweep up feces off the floor, smelling, uh, uh, marched in there all the time, kind of cold environment. And that that kind of revitalized me just, just, just for having you know, by them putting that new facility there. Uh, the, the kids loved it. Uh, we, we took more pride in it. After that, it's itself, man. That's what put pride into your, in your school. Now, the reason uh, that, that we may not, and, I, and I, I'm, a, I'm a proponent of a paying guy, is that I think we need to pay our guy. I, I left him making $2,000 a million in Mississippi, and I'm making $8,500 for coaching the same sport a year. I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, but, but, we, but, but we use all the time that we are poor county. We can't afford to do it. But you need to get the best quality person you can to teach and coach your kids. And, and, and I think if you're going to get those individuals, many times you got to pay a little more. you got to find a way to pay them. I, I agree that 1%. I, I think well, our system coach needs to be paid better. Our, our head coach needs to be, be paid more. Uh, at least comfortable with, with the counties around you. You know, you know kind of look at statewide and, and try to get in that average somewhere. That we, that we do with teaching. You were making a comparison <clears throat> to, the, quite frankly, the attitude some in the community when it comes to spending millions of dollars for uh, a facility for incarceration mm -hmm. as opposed to education. Right. Uh, would you uh, say that again? Well, well from, from my understanding, the, 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 the state pays a dollar and seventy-five cents per meal per day for meals for, for an inmate. Now, all other ex expenses are, that the county incur is paid by the county commission. Okay. The jail budget is two hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars a year. That's just the jail budget. Uh, shared budget is $187,000 annually. <clears throat> now, when you add those two up, we are talking about $452,000 a year, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the tax referendum, what we want the system to pass for four millage, going to add up to about $440,000 a year, which would be a little less than what we pay paying to, to house the inmate here in our, in our jail in Southern County. So again, it, 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 it's, it's a little disturbing to that, that we will be willing to, 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 to float the bond and, and build this facility for $4 million. And what it costs to build it. And then this would have cost us a year to maintain those inmates. And then when we turn around as, as a board, uh, as a community, and ask our citizens to, 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 to contribute or help in the area of education, that for some reason we get a lot of negative feedback from it. And for some reason we don't want to support that. <clears throat> Paying that, giving that same amount of money to, to, to our uh, 1,700 kids. So we're talking about 1,700. The, 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 the jail having 23 inmates up there <coughs> a day. The average jail, the average inmates up there having 23, the total number that they have. The facility built for 160. I mean, 120. It's a 120 bed facility. We average 23 up there at, at the jail. So we're serving 23 uh, inmates. Uh, we actually really for the same amount of money to, to serve 1,700. Now, we can make the argument, well, well they're getting enough. They, they don't never have enough money. Sure, uh, we, we, we receive our money <clears throat> in the state of Alabama. Uh, basis do income tax and sale tax. Uh, when you look at property tax, uh, if, if you look at um, the state of Mississippi, and I don't mention this before, we could double our tax and we still would be paying less than they pay uh, in the state of Mississippi. Uh, I have some, some numbers here just uh, looking at all. Uh, uh, I've got some other. I used to live in uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I know that the taxes for certain items. Well, well, well for example, I just use my, I just use my house pride, I just use mine as an example, uh, which I have 
I don't know what you might want to do. Like five acres. Five acres of land where my house is. It sits at. Uh, I have two other houses that I own. Uh, so, roughly about 25 acres of land. The three houses. It costs me nine hundred something dollars a year for taxes. If I was in Mississippi, I'd be paying three thousand dollars right. <laughs> for that same property. So, so all the taxes are really low. Uh, uh, so, but the the, 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 the sale tax to me is it's a regressive tax. 